And staying with Gulf amid a downturn in the UAE's real estate sector and weak equity market conditions, Emirates REIT, a Dubai-based Sharia-compliant real estate investment trust, it said it was considering delisting from Nasdaq Dubai. The current market conditions were worsened by coronavirus-led lockdowns. It has damaged real estate market in the UAE. Real estate sector in Dubai, one of the main Emirates of the UAE, has been sluggish for years now due to a chronic oversupply of homes coupled with weak economic growth. It's a problem now which has been worsened by the coronavirus crisis. Emirates REIT, or a fund which has a market cap of around $45 million, it said a cyclical downturn in UAE real estate sector and a challenging operating environment had contributed to its decision to review its options. It includes a potential delisting. Emirates also said its manager of Equitiva was being investigated by Dubai Financial Services Authority, DFSA, for matters connected to the management of Emirates REIT, specifically on valuation, information and interest and corporate governance as well. After coronavirus cases in southeast state of Victoria continued to rise south. Meanwhile, South Korea's KOSPI appeared gains to fall 0.5%, while Hong Kong's Hang Seng stumbled 0.4%. Japan's Nikkei, which has started firm, it was faltered by late morning to be last off 0.35%. After data showed countries' exports suffered double-digit decline for fourth month in a row in June. China's shares bucked the trend, with blue chip CSJ 300 index being up 0.8%. More than 14 million people have been affected by the coronavirus globally so far and nearly 600,000 have died. Investor focus is currently on a European Union summit where leaders are haggling over a plan to revive economies throttled by the coronavirus pandemic. The leaders are at odds over how to carve up a vast recovery fund designed to help haul Europe out of the deepest recession since World War II and what strings to attach for countries it would benefit. Diplomats, meanwhile, said it was possible that they would abandon the summit and try again for an agreement next month. In response, the euro opened 0.2% lower in early Asian trade to go as low as $1.14. Single currency recouped some of its losses at $1.1419. In the U.S., Congress is set to begin debating a new aid package this week as several states in the country's south and west implement fresh lockdown measures to curb the virus. The virus has claimed over 140,000 lives in US in total since the pandemic started and Florida, California, Texas and other southern and western states shatter records every day. US with 3.7 million total cases has almost as many infections as the next three hardest hit countries combined, which are Brazil, India and Russia. The fiscal support is also a focus in Australia, where government will release a mini-budget later this week. In currencies, dollar climbed against the Japanese yen to 107.37 today. Sterling pound fell to $1.25, and the risk-sensitive Australian dollar was weaker as well, down 0.2% at $0.69. That left dollar index up 0.2%. In commodities, the spot gold eased a tad to 1800 dollars